Hi, Jeff Rick here with theCUBE. We're in the heart of Silicon Valley in our Palo Alto offices and I'm joined in this tech segment by our co-host, Ariana Gradow. Ariana, welcome. Thanks, good to be here. So just a couple days ago, it seems that we kicked off CUBE Madness. We talked about all the, uh, the full 64 and now as of today, we closed voting down at, at noon Pacific time. We're down to the sweet 16. Yeah, it was a tight wire, um, lots of heat building. People are getting excited, riled up. <laughs> it's good, it's fun to watch. So it's funny, when we talked last time, we talked about, you know, kind of activating your social uh, network and getting your social mojo. And I think if you, as you've watched this thing develop over the last couple of days, clearly some people are out in front, really getting their mm -hmm. crowd going, putting stuff on their front pages, and others aren't. Yeah, it's, it's fun, it's definitely, it draws down to the line when people put it on their Twitter handles, they get it on their Facebook, Facebook page, they really engage their audience, ask for votes, we see the numbers grow. Yep. And it's really, it draws down to the wire, you know, asking your fa friends, asking your family, getting the votes, putting your interview out there. Yeah, it's and, I, it's, and I think there's some surprises, you know, some people really make that big push and, uh, and some mm -hmm. people don't, but like you say, we can see the results. So why don't we, uh, why don't we jump into the Sweet 16? All right, well, let's begin with the Wikibon region. Uh, we see Avi Mehta, who had a tight race against um, Paula Long, is going to be up against Pam Murphy, who beat Diane Mueller in the final, in the round of 32. Yeah, tight so race, what are your thoughts? Tight race, uh, Avi Mehta is always a big fan, been on the cube a ton of times, actually been a co-host before. Um, <laughs> so we know he likes to get engaged. Paula Long, you know, Paula Long has a huge following. She is uh, is running Data Gravity right now, which is a very hot company, but she herself does not have a Twitter handle, hmm. at least not one that we found. So I think there, uh, clearly, Avi had, had an advantage. Pam Murphy um, did not see a lot of direct activity from Pam, so obviously she must have some fans out there that are helping push her mm -hmm. over the top. But that should be uh, that should be an interesting race on the <coughs> on the one side of the Wikibon region. The other they they are going to be rival ring Sanjay Poonan, um, who is up against Maria oh, who beat Maria Clave 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 yep Maria Clave yep and. Um, they are right he is rivaling alan nuance alan nance or nance. yeah alan nance so alan nance is interesting because he is from uh royal phillips so he's actually one of the few practitioners that we have that's not hmm. uh representing a technology company but one of the most popular uh interviews that we've ever had it's funny he, he talks about people running him down at birthday parties kids birthday parties telling right. him that they saw that interview and then sanjay really got a good outpouring of support from his network uh, people, people rallying. So that will be a pretty uh, interesting one. I think Sanjay has been a little bit more active. Um, I think Alan had less competition kind of coming up through, so we'll see if he can step it up uh, and go. But that one, I'd have to say, if I had to predict, I think uh, Sanjay is probably going to pull out and, and move to the final four from that group. All right, yeah, that's going to be a fun one to, to watch it play out. All right, moving into the Cube region. We've got Bethany Meyer. She competed against Ben Gulab in the last round of 32, and she is competing against Erica Brescia. And Erica Brescia had a sweep over Mark Shuttleworth. Yeah, two, uh, two great women in tech interviews that we've done. Um, Erica is a, is a C, uh, COO or CIO. She's really mm -hmm. a technical founder of... Um, of, of Bitnami and, and great interview at Google Cloud Platform. And then Bethany actually, longtime HP veteran, she's been around the Valley, self-prescribed veteran of the Valley when we interviewed her last for uh, a woman in tech segment. And so again, those are two really powerhouse, really great representatives of, of women in tech, which again, mm -hmm. ironically, we're shooting this on Women in Tech Wednesday. So that, uh, that only makes sense. That's gonna be an interesting battle. Neither of them has really, um, totally activated their network, mm -hmm. so we'll see what happens in this round if one of them really kind of takes the charge. Yeah, ladies, go at it, go, go at after it. it. All right, other side of the cube region, they, they will be competing against Jim Whitehurst, who had a close race against Nikki Acosta. Super close, I think it was only 16 or a very small number that uh, Jim Whitehurst won the advance to the Sweet 16, and he is up against uh, Teresa Carlson, 
who beat Eric Herzog. Eric Herzog. So Eric Herzog has a pretty active network. He, I think he was out a little harder, a little faster in the first round, didn't really have the sustainability in the second mm -hmm. round. So that's a great win for Teresa to move on. Again, we've got three of, of four are women in tech in the, in the cube region, which is terrific. Uh, Jim Whitehurst, you know, Red Hat really got behind his campaign. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, on one of their pages, their internal uh, blog pages, they have, you know, vote for Jim, vote for Jim. So the whole company really getting behind his candidacy. Um, and so we're excited to have him move on to the next round. Nikki, Nikki last round was losing for, for quite a bit and was able to come in and, and mm -hmm. grab victory from the jaws of defeat right at the last minute. Didn't happen this time. So this is a good, good region, the cube region, three of four represented by women in tech. And then of course, Jim with Red Hat. It's a good, it's a good region. That's going to be exciting as we move to the final four. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right. So we go to the tech athlete Fantastic. region. Yeah, let's get to the tech athlete region. This one was, to start out, we got Lone Jaffe, who, comp who beat Deborah Norville, which was a great, great defeat, or great feat. Great <laughs> victory, um, yes. Victory, and Jack Norris, who competed against Maribel Lopez. Yeah, so... Uh, Deborah Norville, again, this was one we talked about at the beginning of the show. Just because you have a huge Twitter following, if you don't activate it and get behind the contest, mm -hmm. then not necessarily going to do a lot for you. You know, I would imagine if Deborah had tweeted once or twice, it probably would have moved her uh, moved her vote a little bit. But that's okay because Lon Jaffe and the and, and the team at SingSort are into it. They have fun with these types of things and really know how to get leverage out of their cube interviews and mm -hmm. promote them over and over again. Um, Jack Norris, great to see him moving on to the Sweet 16. Jack was not in the contest last year. Uh, was wanted to make sure that he got into the contest this year. So Jack, glad you guys are, are uh, getting behind it and interesting to see that you moved on to the Sweet 16 and, and best of luck now moving into the Elite Eight. Yep. And they will be up against Mike Cordano, who beat the Puppets, <laughs> and job, Alan Cohen, who uh, had a a nice victory over Flo Liebert. Yeah, so uh, Alan Cohen is the, again, we like to have props and fun, interesting things on interviews. The only guy that brought a Kraken <laughs> onto the interview at AWS reInvent last year. Uh, a lot of enthusiasm. Again, really activated their social network at Illumio, uh, looking for those votes, and, and obviously they came through for him. Uh, Mike Cardano, again, HGST. Um, really activating his network, reaching out. He's actually expanding into some other areas that HGST is involved with. I think the CrossFit uh, crew is something that they're passionate about, Mike's passionate about, and good for him for you know using that passion um, to also then get involved in Cube Madness. So that should be, that's gonna be a tough matchup, Mike and Alan, to see who moves on to the Elite Eight. Yep. And we move to the, the last one, awesome. Silicon Angle region. Silicon Angle region. All right, Charles Phillips, who had a victory over Joe, Joe Hellerstein and is up against Jesse Proudman. That was a close one. Jesse Proudman and Bill Schmarzo were That was head battle, to head. Ro battle Royale. Yeah. That, that <laughs> definitely is the Battle Royale Award for the round of 32. If, uh, Bill, if you'd been in just about any other region, I think you would have taken that <laughs> one. But, uh, but Jesse Gaia. Jesse had a really great article uh, that's gotten a lot of buzz on Twitter just the last couple of days talking really about being an entrepreneur and really the only job that you could ever have and, 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 and really actually going through a dark time in his life uh, doing entrepreneurship and how he turned that around. And good for you, Jesse. It was a great post on Medium. It's getting a lot of buzz um, mm -hmm. in the Twitter sphere. On the other side, Charles Phillips, obviously tech rock star, Goldman Sachs, Oracle, now at N4, um, coming out of that against Joe Hellerstein. So Jesse versus Charles. Charles going to have to do a little bit more activation. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a little bit more active than just relying on, uh, on his status because Jesse, Jesse's into it. Uh, he was just going through this process with the Open Stack Society <laughs> trying to get, or the Open Stack Foundation trying to get on the board. So he's, uh, he's into asking for votes right now. He's pretty comfortable with that position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. All right, uh, Katie Lindahl is up against Lou Tucker. So we saw Katie Lindahl just def just beat Carl Gentry, and it was a sad match because I saw Carla out there pushing her numbers, you know, asking for the vote. So I think it was just the sheer sheer uh, reach that Katie Lindahl's and her fan base. Um, and then Lou Tucker ha 
def- uh, beat Merv Adams in the last round. Merv Adrian. Merv, Merv Adrian. Adrian from Gartner. Merv Adrian. Uh, so Lou Tucker coming on strong with Cisco. I think we had a we had a couple Cisco representatives. I think he's our sole Cisco representative that's still in the game. So good luck to you, Lou. And Katie, for sure. I mean, Katie's got a huge following. Again, one or two tweets. If she reaches out to her audience, that's a big, big number. And Carla, great effort. <laughs> Carla's really active in social. She's got a huge fan base. Mm-hmm. Anytime she tweets or we mention Carla, we get a ton of retweets and favorites. She's got uh, a huge fan base for sure. Yep. The Data Geek. Yeah, uh, uh, that's fabulous. And who do you think is going to... After all this and after people start activating, what do you think it's going to take to get to the, to get to the final four? Again, I, you know, we've talked about it before. I think you've really got to activate your social network. You, mm-hmm. you can't be afraid to ask for the votes. You know, we'll help you. In fact, anyone that basically tweets from their own Twitter handle looking for votes or in support of the contest, usually we'll, we'll retweet that and we'll favorite that and really support that effort. But you've got to get them activated, and then really you've got to sustain, and it's going to be difficult. So, again, this voting period is about a day and a half. Uh, we'll shut it down on Friday uh, at noon Pacific to try to get to that Elite Eight status, mm-hmm. and then we'll open it up again next week to get to the Final Four. But um, some brackets have been tougher than others, some contests tougher than others. It's kind of luck of the draw who you yep. go against and how you can activate your, your social network. But as, as the brackets get smaller, those who've, who've, uh, who've advanced just because they haven't had tough competition, that's going to be harder to do. <laughs> so yep. who do you think? What, who's, uh, who's your... Who's your favorite now? Um, I think Jesse Proudman. He, he's he's up there. He's got a lot of activation, a lot of fans. Yes, he does. Um, his network's definitely reaching out for him as well. Uh, he's. I think he's going to advance the Final Four. Um, let's see. Probably. So, Jesse, that's from your SiliconANGLE region. So what about from the Tech Athlete region? And, I, and I'm going to concur with you oh, on that one. SiliconANGLE so region. Oh, okay. Uh, from Tech Athlete region, I'm thinking... Maybe Alan Cohen or, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't bet against the Kraken. Watch out for the Kraken or Mike. <laughs> you know, Mike has done a really good job of, of activating it. You know, we hadn't seen a, as much of Mike on the social scene until the contest. Maybe we weren't paying it close enough attention, but he's clearly got behind this thing. Uh, but I, that's going to be a tough battle. You can never count out Lon Jaffe and Sink Sort. The, the team there is... Is, uh, is, is, is very active on social. So let's move to the cube region. What do you think about the cube region? Cube region, I'm thinking maybe Jim Whitehurst. He had some activation as well, and he was, he was all over the, uh, the media. Yeah, I think, I think Jim is, the I would say, the odds-on favorite to get to the Final Four because, again, Red Hat even has it on their homepage, <laughs> which is great support yeah. for Cube Madness, and we, and we appreciate that and, and glad that you guys have really embraced the fun of what this is all about. And... Promoting, promoting those interviews. That was from Red Hat Summit. We're going to be at Red Hat Summit again. This year it's in Boston. Last year it was in Moscone. We're looking forward to that show. And so for the Wikibon region. Yeah, what do you think? Maybe Avi Mehta. Um, it's a close call on that one. I'm not really sure. But uh, what are your thoughts on that one? Uh, Avi Mehta, tough to, tough to uh, gamble against. Um, who else is here? Alan Nance. You know, I, I'm going to go with Alan Nance, sentimental favorite. Again, the only practitioner um, in the group. So uh, we'll see if Alan can pull it out. But Sanjay's got a good support, too. He had a, a, a lot of people behind him. And then, you know, don't cut out Pam Murphy. Yeah. So at last, the Sweet 16, they really have to get on the court, play, the, the, play their A game, get offensive. You know, let's see them, see them charge. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Uh, so we'll come back at the end of the weekend, probably Women in Tech Wednesday again, to talk about the Final Four mm-hmm. and who's going to make it. Hope your regular March Madness brackets are going well. Mine's pretty good. I got 12 out of 16 in the Sweet 16. Nice. Don't ask me how. It's, uh, it's madness, right? It's not <laughs> as logical as we wish. But I'm Jeff Frick, Ariana Gradow. We are in uh, the Cube, Silicon Angle, Palo Alto offices, Talking Cube Madness. Thanks for watching. We'll Thanks see watching. you next week when we talk Get about the Get your f- votes in soon. Final. All right. Get your votes in. Ends on Friday noon. Friday noon.